Hello YouTube, happy Monday and happy belated birthday to myself. This is my first 40 year old version of driving up stock. So thank you for joining us on our journey. Um, getting right into our latest Robinhood portfolio update. Uh, last week was a much better week in the markets. As we know, the past couple weeks have been really down. Um, we did end our trading week uh, ending, well, Obviously, it's you know, we always consider Friday the last day of the trading week, which would have been the third. But due to the uh, Independence Day holiday, uh, it, it was selling it for the financial district, it's observed on Friday. Uh, so the last open day of the markets were, was the second. Excuse me, I'm getting tongue tied today. I apologize. Uh, so we ended the trading week at $217.10. So from the previous weeks closed we were up about 8.7 percent so um another good good increase there we are slowly slowly but surely uh getting back up to the pre voldemort times uh amounts times times whatever um we are starting to get that uh those losses gained back a little bit uh, let's see what do we we didn't have any trades or anything to end the week um over the weekend the again the cryptocurrencies that i'm trying to get out of they were pretty well flat um until basically early this morning early this morning they started to, to spike a little bit they are back down now uh, i don't i think they're still showing green for the day um but from where they were at uh, early morning pre-market they are back down to where they had been uh it's so not really any news on the crypto front um, again, no trades, no dividends paid out last week. Uh, this coming week, I think the 15th and the 23rd, if I'm not mistaken, I do have two dividends paying out. Uh, the first one is our monthly dividend payer, Realty Income. Uh, that'll be paying out here. I think that one's on the 23rd that I'll get that one. Um, and then also the quarterly payout for uh, Voya International Resources, ticker symbol IRR. Uh, that pays out this month. So uh, a couple dividends to look forward to this, this month. And once we get those, I'll let you know what the amounts are and everything. Don't want to spoiler alert you on that one yet. Um, big news today, I, again, other than my birthday being over the weekend, I mean, I hope everyone had a, a good, safe holiday. Um, hopefully you got to spend time with friends and family, uh, thinking about things that are that are right, not the not the negative things, but that uh, you know we kind of keep the positive light on things here on this channel. But I uh, just hope you, if nothing else, that you enjoyed a weekend off. If you got the weekend off, I did. Uh, actually, my boss had texted me Friday asking if I could work Sunday. They were putting an emergency call out to try to get some people to come in. And um, unfortunately, it's my, my birthday was Sunday, my 40th birthday. So I had to shoot him the uh, old man cap. No, no, I don't think I will. You know, text, whatever. So, uh, in, in hindsight, I, I wish I had said that, but I just explained that I had a get together and I was gonna be out of town and everything. So it had to pass. Um, and, it actually would have been pretty cool because it wasn't my department. It's my original department, as you know, if you've been around my channel long enough. Um, I kind of started last year getting bounced around different departments, partially cross-training, partially to help with um, different projects that needed help with the, the like couple things on this earth that I'm actually halfway decent at. Because um, so I've been getting bounced around, hoping that eventually I'd land back in my original department because that was my first and one true love at my company. Um, and this would have been a chance to, um, you know, run the show on that side of things. But fortunately, I had things going on yesterday, uh, so I had to take a pass on that one. Uh, well, I hope you all had a great weekend. Hopefully, you enjoyed your time off. If nothing else. Hopefully, you have all your fingers, toes, all that intact. And uh, yeah, that's it. So. Uh, markets opened up strong this morning. Um, if anybody knows, throw it down in the comments. Um, also, make sure you hit the like button. And don't, uh, if you've been here long enough, you know I'm not going to ask you to hit the like button. I'm going to ask you to climb that turnbuckle and drop that Macho Man Randy Savage flying elbow on the like button. Make sure you subscribe if you have not already. Tell all your friends about us. It's great.
Uh, and with that, I lost my train of thought. No, anyhow, uh, pre-market things kind of shot up. Uh, one thing I wanted to get in the comments, if you know this, there was some news that came out. I'm in a couple of uh, stock trading groups on uh, Facebook, and there was a lot of chatter. And somebody even put something on one of my last videos asking about the stock market crash today. And I'm like, I'm seeing nothing about it. It's all just word of mouth. I didn't have a lot of time at the end of last week to do a lot of research on anything, but I didn't see anything about anything negative. Like all the news out there is really positive for stuff. So. Not sure where that came from, that the markets were supposed to crash on Monday, but if you know, if you heard something, let me know. Um, I'd be interested to hear about that. Uh, but they did kind of take off. They have kind of sputtered out here uh, Monday afternoon. They're back down. Like I was up, um, I think I, I was up like over $223 right at the opening of the uh, market open, and then it kind of went down. Same thing, uh, I'm swing trading uh, Cody, C-O-T-Y stock right now, uh, cosmetics company. Um, it was up to like 459 pre-market and then like the second the bell rang it was down to like 440 and it's down like 434 right now so looks like we're gonna be hanging on to that one for a minute uh before we sell out of that one uh but overall market's been up today uh my portfolio personally i'm i'm up right now um and i think a lot of it like i said everything kind of balanced out uh after the market's opened and the thing that's kind of keeping mine up is i do have a share of uber that i got from a referral um, if you are interested in starting your Robinhood investing journey and you want to use that particular platform you're not already signed up for Robinhood. it's free free to sign up free trades got the ability to do fractional shares dividend reinvestment plans that kind of stuff i always put my Robinhood link um, or my page that has my Robinhood link in the description check that out sign up if you want to if you don't use mine and you're going to sign up for Robinhood, use somebody else's spread the love make sure you both get a benefit on because they do give you a free share when you sign up and if you use those referral codes whoever referred you um, also gets a free stock uber was one that i got on a referral um and that's up quite a bit from where i got it because i think it was at like 27 when i got it or 26 and it's now over 30 dollars uh they shot up and they've held up um, because they bought out big announcement over the weekend is they bought um, lost it Postmates Postmates is one of their biggest competitors uh, so they bought Postmates for 2.65 billion dollars worth of stock so don't know exactly how that part of it works I haven't looked into that but I was reading there was a, a Wall Street Journal article about it uh, where they basically bought out Postmates for 2.65 billion uh, that makes them the second largest home food delivery service next to what is it DoorDash is still the the big dog the top dog but that does give Uber uh, a lot of clout in another area so now not just the the ride sharing but now um, now they're big 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 into the the food delivery side um, and according to that same article uh, they are planning on keeping that as its own separate thing that they're not planning on making it like Uber Eats or anything like that, that it will stay, keep that Postmates label is what it sounds like. So um, that's big news for them. That's huge. Their stock spiked. It was up like eight or 9% at one point this morning. I think it kind of balanced out to around like a 5% increase. Um, and it's kind of held strong there and that's kept my portfolio up for the day. Um, so that's kind of what's been big in the news now. Um, anything else that I've been reporting out on, there's not really anything new. No real news on JCPenney. Obviously, I'm out of JCPenney now. I got out of that on a profit. Um, but there hasn't been any news. Um, the company that owns like Hot Topic um, is looking to buy them out. But that not a lot of public news right now on that. Same thing with AMC. Um, AMC's been in the news a couple times. One, because when they were originally gonna open, they weren't gonna require masks. Everybody was freaking out about that. Um, then they came back and said they will require masks. Um, now they've pushed back their opening date to July 30th. Uh, they've had, they've been in the news twice about a buyout. First it was um, Amazon was potentially going to buy them out. And then there was confusion whether or not it was going to be Amazon or it, uh, whether it was actually them or AMC Network. Nobody will comment on it. Um, and then most recently they were in the news um, with Netflix talking about buying them out um, and that 
again since last week when I reported on that. There's been like no further discussions on it. Just kind of the talk, the talks stalled out on that stuff. So hopefully we end up hearing more about that kind of stuff. But uh, we'll go ahead and uh, we're gonna call it a wrap there. Uh, make sure again that if you have not already hit that subscribe button, that you make sure you you hit that subscribe button. Uh, smash that like button. How do we smash that like button? We don't just hit it. We don't just push it. We Macho Man Randy Savage flying elbow drop that like button. Apologize, I'm parking. As you know, I do this during my uh, daily commutes. So uh, thank you for joining. We will see you for our Thursday update. Again, let me know in the comments if you've heard anything about this stock market crash. There hasn't been really any news on it that I've seen. Um, I've heard nothing, but everything's been positive news over the weekend. So I don't honestly know where that came from. It was just a bunch of people trying to put some scare tactics out there. I have no clue. It was just weird that it was two different groups that I'm in, both like throwing that out, but nobody was giving any articles or examples or anything. So let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts on that. Let me know how your uh, how you spent your uh, holiday weekend. Hopefully uh, you were safe. Hopefully you got to spend some time with family and friends safely, of course, masked up, all that, I'm sure. Socially distanced, I'm sure. So thank you again for tuning in, and we will see you next time.